Welcome to Coco TV. In Pakistan's Punjab region, Rotas Fort is a former military fortress close to the city of Jhelum. One of the most striking instances of military architecture from that time period, it was constructed in the 16th century by the Mughal ruler Sher Shah Suri. The fort is renowned for its strategic location, solid construction, and the historical events associated with it. Here's a detailed history of Rotas Fort. Background Sher Shah Suri, also known as Sher Khan, was a prominent Afghan leader who overthrew the Mughal Emperor Humayun and established the Sur Empire in northern India. During his reign, 1540 to 1545, Sher Shah recognized the need for a strong defensive structure in the region to prevent the return of Humayun and to secure his empire against potential threats from other rival factions. Mughal period following the passing of Sher Shah Suri, Humayun returned to take control of the Punjab region once more. In 1555, Rotas Fort was given to Humayun. The fort consequently lost a lot of its defensive importance. Due to its uninteresting militaristic aesthetic and dearth of gardens, it was never favoured by the Mughals. Emperor Akbar built the neighbouring Attic Fort, which better served Mughal interests, in the 1580s. Akbar only stayed at Rotas Fort for a single night. Emperor Jahangir rested there for one night while travelling to Kashmir. He noted, this fort was founded in a cleft and the strength of it cannot be imagined. Later, after his victorious return from a forced exile in Kabul, Jahangir convened his court at Rotas Fort for a short time. During the Mughal era, the fort was used almost continuously until 1707. The Afsharid ruler Nader Shah camped at the fort during his invasion of the Mughal Empire. After that, it was used by the Afghan Durrani chieftain Ahmad Shah Durrani during his invasions of Punjab against the Sikhs. It was taken over by the Marathas in 1758 but the Afghans retook the fort in 1759. The Durrani chieftain Timur Shah Durrani retook Multan from the Sikhs in 1780 after defeating them at Rotas. Sikh Empire period Gurmuk Singh Lamba captured Rotas fort in 1825 from Nur Khan, a Gakka chief. Raja Fuzzal Din Khan was the last to use Rotas Fort for military purposes when he participated in a successful rebellion led by Sher Singh in the late 1830s. However, the fort never saw any fighting. The Sikh Empire used the fort for administrative purposes until the British took the region in 1849. Construction Rotas Fort was constructed between 1541 and 1543. The GT Road, a crucial military and economic route linking India's northern plains to its northwest areas, was strategically under the authority of the fort. Additionally, Sher Shah's men used the fort as a garrison and a base to uphold his rule in the region. Design and architecture The architecture of Rotas Fort displays a blend of Afghan and Indian styles. It was built primarily using sandstone, with military considerations in mind. The fort covers an area of about 70 acres and is surrounded by high defensive walls, which are punctuated by several monumental gateways. The main gate, called the Sahail Gate, is particularly famous for its grandeur. The fort includes various structures like barracks, residential areas, stables, mosques, and wells. Notably, the Haveli Man Singh, a large three-story building, is one of the central features of the fort. Historical Significance Rotas Fort's historical significance lies in its association with the military and political events of its time. It was intended to serve as a bulwark against the return of Humayun and also as a measure to control the local Gakka tribes, who were often rebellious. After Sher Shah's death, the Mughals under Humayun regained control of the Indian subcontinent. Rotas Fort lost some of its strategic importance as the political landscape shifted. Gates Rotas Fort has 14 gates built of grey ashlar stone Sahail Gate features some of the best masonry work of the Sur Empire and was likely the ceremonial main entrance to the fort. 1. Its namesake is the local St. Sahail Bukhari, interred in the southwestern portion of the gate. This rectangular gate measures 21.34 metres, 70.0 feet, high by 20.73 metres, 68.0 feet, wide, and with a depth of 15 metres, 49 feet. Its central archway is 4.72 meters, 15.5 feet, wide and maintains its shape throughout the depth of the gate. The gateway has ornamental floral motifs with richer decorations on its outer face. There are seven battlements along the outer face of the Sahail Gate. A room on the upper floor has windows that open toward the fort's interior. The gate now houses a visitor's information center and a museum set up by the Himalayan Wildlife Foundation. 
The gate may have been built in two stages. One, it consists of an inner and outer gate that encloses a step well. One, its opening is 3.15 meters, 10.3 feet wide and is flanked by two bastions on either side. The gate has five battlements on top, with stairs leading up the outside wall. South of the gate is the Shahi Mosque, so many call it the Shahi Darwaza. Shishi Gate derives its name from the glazed tiles that decorate its outer arch. These blue tiles are the earliest known examples of this technique, later refined in Lahore. Langakani Gate opens directly into the citadel but was designed as a trap in the direct line of fire from the fort's bastions. It is a double gate with a central arched opening that is 15.25 meters, 50.0 feet, high and 3.5 meters. Talaki Gate has two bastions on each side. It is 15.25 meters, 50.0 feet, high and 13.8 meters, 45 feet, wide. Mora gate opens into one chamber, which opens into another. Kwas Khani is a double gate named after one of Sher Shah Suri's greatest generals, Kawas Khan Marwat. Sar Sar is a small entrance that seems to have been made by locals knocking down the main wall, outer boundary, as a passage to the adjacent jungle. There is a bastion next to this gate. Royal Mosque, the small Shahi Masjid, Royal Mosque, is near the Kabuli Gate and is the most decorated of the fort's original buildings. The mosque includes a prayer chamber and a small courtyard. Palace the Raja Man Singh Haveli, located on the highest point of the citadel, is the fort's only palace. The Rani Mahal, Queen's Palace, is a one-story structure inside the fort. It originally had four rooms, but a legacy. Despite its original purpose fading, Rotas Fort continued to be used as a military outpost by subsequent rulers, including the Mughals and the British.